All right, let's recognize the guitar patterns a little bit more, okay? What we need to focus on right now is if B and C, E and F, okay? We're not going to play B and C and E and F together. We're going to separate them, divide them out, okay? So if I'm starting at C, I don't play B and E. If I'm starting with a B on this side, I'm not using C and F, okay? So basically the way it breaks down is we go F, G, A, B, Okay, and this is the pattern it gives us. G, A, that's our pattern, okay? And we're basing this off of the 10th to 12th fret, okay? Running everything that way. So you could see if we were to play B, C, E, and F together, this is the shape we would get from the guitar, all right? We would be B, C, E, F, B, C, E, F here, okay? Running that way. So, yep, go ahead, pause, take a look. There's not really much more to explain about it, um, but you do see if you start way over here, you eventually come back and repeat it, even though you're skipping. Um, but here it is if you were to go from each note and run that progression. Okay, so hopefully it'll help you see a little bit more when you start playing how the guitar is put together. Um, and another thing to remember is that B to F is six frets. F to B is six frets away, okay? Right? So 